Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we'll be discussing about how to make use of Simmer effect in a Flutter application, right? So Simmer effect is nothing but the kind of uh, a glowing gray container which we will be visualizing in most of the apps recently, right? If the app is in the loading state or it, or if it is in the state of establishing a connection with the external server, then we'll be able to see a kind of a glowing gray container, right? Say for example, let me read on the app again. If you see that uh, this is the app which we gets the data from the cloud file store and displays them in the list view. Okay, and this data is as the data is being fetched from the cloud file store. It actually takes some time to load the data, right? And that time is what we will be uh, using to make use of the simmer effect. Okay. Say for example, if you just see the a glowing gray container over here before the app is getting loaded, right? In the previous video for establishing the connection, that due course of time will be making use of the circular progress indicator, which uh, we will be just replacing instead of that with the simmer effect. Okay, simmer widget is nothing but a glowing gray container which will be utilized for uh, making the user uh, to understand that the app is in the loading state. Okay. So with this idea, let's move on to the coding part. To make use of the simmer effect, we need to add a package called simmer in our prospect and just uh, add this package the simmer when the current version is 2.0 as for the video recording date, always go for the latest version. And after adding this package, let's move to the main.dat file and inside this main.dat file, the home points to my home page. So this is the basic UI which we have already discussed in the part 1 video of our Firebase tutorial, right? Hope you remember that. So this is the logic for getting the data from the cloud file store and displaying them in the UI, right? Say for example, you see here we get a circular progress indicator at the center uh, for, to indicate the loading state of the app, right? Now we just need to replace that circular progress indicator with the kind of a glowing container, right? And for that we just need to create a separate component this I have just created a separate component for that simmer widget and I have just written down in the simmer widget class and with the help of the package which we have added we will be able to utilize this widget which is simmer dot from colors and it actually takes two colors one is the base color which is the color that the container holds and the second color is the highlight color which is the color which you see as the glowing part that is the color which runs from left to right that is the color which we specify the highlight color okay and the simmer widget will be taking a child which is any flutter widget you can just provide any flutter widget to indicate the loading state for now i have just made use of the container widget with the specified height you can also make use of text widget or anything to have this kind of simmer effect applied over that okay so this is the class which is responsible for rendering that glowing gray container okay so for now we just need to call this class uh, in the place of circular progress indicator which we have already used okay so let's move on to that my home page inside this we we just make use of the circular progress indicator to indicate the loading state of the app right instead of that we just need to make use of the simmer widget and that simmer widget is just written down in a separate function called build simmer item so this build simmer item function is written down here which in turn calls make a call to the simmer widget class which we have just discussed shortly okay so now if you just rerun the app instead of the circular progress indicator you will be able to see a glowing gray container see you can just get the similar kind of effect over that container and that's how you specify the users that the app is about to load and the data is about to be loaded and showed up in the ui okay so that's it guys that's how you just make your app more interactive and user friendly okay hope you guys enjoy this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye